All right, so this is a continuation video where uh, I left off uh, with this Best Buy uh, video card buyer. Uh, so since then, I've uh, actually already done the follow-up code, which was to add a notification system so that uh, when it does add a video card to uh, Best Buy shopping cart, it sends a uh, an alert to me. Now the way it does it is through a, a cloud um, product or solution called PagerDuty. So I know about PagerDuty from work because uh, that's what I use or uh, I'm registered on there. So uh, if a uh, <clears throat> cloud service that I uh, work for goes down, it uh, alerts me through various methods, email, phone, text, what have you. Um, so I chose that one mainly because I know how it works and uh, it's quite easy and pretty robust in, uh, in the way it makes sure that you are alerted. Um, so if you don't pick up, like it'll do follow-up messages and calls like it's it's pretty it's pretty uh persistent uh in 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 um making sure that you're alerted so anyway um but i didn't want to use my company's pager duty account of course so i i opened up a free account uh let me show you what that looks like so pager duty here is uh if you I opened up this free PagerDuty account and I tested it out earlier. So the free one, as you can see here, there are 14 days left on your free trial. I believe it's 30 days total, but um, I think that's what it said. Maybe, I don't know why it says 14 days left on your trial. But you could choose use, use to um, choose to use this one or other services. I like PagerDuty only because I, I know them. All right, um, so I chose pager duty for notification, and the other the other thing that I said I was gonna do was to have a te uh, external text file for loading up all the different pages. Um, so if I had thirty different products that I want to watch uh, for it to come online or uh, have it be available, then. Uh, then I just have to add the links to the pages, to the uh, the watch page. So here's an example. So I pulled off, I guess, 28 products. These are all from Best Buy, you can see here. And they're all 3080s and 3090s even. And there's one 3070, uh, I guess, pre-order. So I added all these to, the, to this text file. Uh, and just for testing so that I don't end up opening 30 browsers every time I'm debugging through this. Uh, I have a smaller version which only has three three links. So, so that's it. So I implemented those two features and I think I'm pretty much done. Uh, so just to recap, what this program does is it reads this, whichever file I send it. Uh, so let's say I, I sent it this three, three link uh, uh, text file. It will open up a browser for each one of these. And for each one of these, it will start monitoring um, for the availability to, uh, button to come online. Um, if it does show up, then it will add it to the shopping cart, then alert me through PagerDuty, uh, then have to just browser sit there Meanwhile, it'll also uh, check the other products, continue to check the other products. But that one or more that has been added to the cart will just sit there and, and wait for me or whoever to come online and, and actually close out or check out the product. Uh, so that's pretty much it. So let's run through the code. Um, so it's a little different from last time. Just a few more lines here. Um, so I move 
the uh, the checking of the button logic to a separate class. So I moved it into a separate class called page polar. And um, so this is how Python uh, deals with constructors. So it's kind of weird, but underscore underscore in it is the constructor and then you pass it uh, in order to create a new page polar uh, you can ignore the self but uh, uh, you send it the URL and in this case URL will be one of those from that text file so for each one it will uh, save that URL to itself uh, it will also create a, a new web driver the Firefox uh, browser instance and save that to itself and then once uh, the browser is ready it will initiate the fetch or get of that URL then it just sits there until the main routine uh, and then we can get there so but so it also this class has uh, helper methods or um, methods that um, you can call on this polar and and ask it, please check if the uh, checkout button is available uh, if so then add it to cart otherwise uh, and if you did add it uh, tell me that you you added it so if I added it uh, just return tell me that you returned it as a true like yes I added it um, otherwise return false and the reason for this is the parent uh, looping routine will kind of determine how to how to uh, control the responses based on the true and false of this check available method. Uh, the other kind of uh, helper method off of this page polar class is to say refresh that page, refresh that browser page. Um, so all it does is if you get a call, if this page polar gets a call on it, it will call refresh on my web browser instance. So that's pretty simple. I could have moved this to a separate file. That's probably a good idea too. But uh, I left it as is. So right now it's loading this one called the, the smaller of the two Best Buy links text file. Uh, the three one, the three link page or three link document. Um, but eventually I will uh, open up this one and have it run on against that one permanently. All right, so the main routine of this uh, code does opens the file for reading, um, reads all of the lines into an array, and prints the array just for debugging. And for each one of the lines in the in the text file, um, I will create a page polar. So just just doing this, just calling the constructor. We'll create a new uh, page polar instance and I'm just going to save that response into this pages array so this pages is actually holding a whole bunch of page polars okay so that's the initialization so we're done with now we have a bunch of browsers open with uh, page polar instances um, holding the references to those browsers Okay, so what do we do now? Just a dummy loop. Oops. Just a dummy loop here. Uh, while true, it's never a good idea to do a forever loop like this, but I didn't really care because I'm just going to press the stop button when I'm done. But uh, might be a better idea to have a, a more, I don't know, programmatic or user inputted exit uh, condition. But anyway. Uh, so forever loop and uh, this is just I'll talk about this a little later but um, this is to just track of the uh, pages that have been uh, added to the shopping cart at which point I don't want to monitor those anymore so I want to remove them from the page polar or pages list so in order to do that though I can't just while I'm looping through the pages, I can't remove uh, the page uh, while I'm looping through the pages uh, because it will uh, maybe corrupt the data structure. 
so it's always a good idea to have a separate uh, um, tracking note, if you will, tracking list of the things that you want to do after you finish the loop. In other words, after I'm processing through all of the pages, then you can see here I loop through the ones that I need to remove and I remove them from the pages. Um, so the main logic is here. So this is no different than last time, which is basically if a uh, page check says it's available, then I'm going to do some other stuff here. So, so page check available, page check available, actually, if, if true, you can see here, um, it already added it to cart. So I don't have to worry about adding it to cart. I could have had another method here to say add it to cart, but I didn't do that. I just had it uh, added to cart automatically if it found it. So if page check, avail check available is true, that means it already added to cart. And so all I need to do from the main loop is to send the pager duty alert. And we can go into that a little bit in a little bit. Um, so it sends a notification to me or whoever is uh, running this. Then it appends uh, uh, that page to the list of things to remove. Okay. And then um, it loops through the rest of the pages. So if the page, obviously, the if the uh, item is not available, then I will refresh the page. So so p dot refresh page, which calls this one, and then internally it'll call the driver refresh. Uh, so for any pages that didn't have the available button light up, then it will just refresh. So it does that for all of the pages. Um, after the page, we've processed through all of the pages, checked all the pages. If we found any pages that were added to the shopping cart, then we remove them so that we don't keep uh, monitoring them. And then finally, every time we loop through all of these pages, we sleep a certain amount of time. I put three here. You could put one. You could put even zero, maybe. I don't think it matters. So obviously, if the on at the time of release, you probably want to set this to zero. <laughs> so there is no sleep at all. It will just immediately refresh if it didn't find it. Now, chances are you're probably going to denial of service attack the target site. Um, but if you want to get the item, you probably that's what you probably have to do. All right, so what's I think the only thing that I didn't cover is the pager duty stuff. So where is pager duty class? So pager duty class is this is um, oh, I didn't do it as a class. I just did it as a method. Uh, so this is just a method, and all it does is sends a rest call. Now, what is this rest call? So PagerDuty, the way you trigger it um, is pretty simple. Uh, it's just a single web uh, post call, web service post call with this body and these headers. And once you've, I mean, that requires that you have already a PagerDuty account. Um, and also you have a PagerDuty API token. I don't think that's my API token. Um, then, uh, then you need to find the service. Um, so there, there are a few things that you need to, uh, set up and, and, uh, query before you can set this thing up. Um, but from Python, that curl command to send that request looks like this. So here's the body. Oops. So the body is basically this thing. Oh. The body is basically this thing. You can ignore these things. The triple quote is in Python, it's saying like, keep it raw, as in don't modify it. Everything inside these three quotes, this quote and between this quote is like 
don't modify it even carriage returns i want it all make that a string a single string so it's just a big string and this is the body um so this is kind of tricky the id for the pager duty service you have to query from by calling another rest api you can see here i use postman to do that um, don't worry about this token uh, this is my api token but uh, it's going to expire uh, let's see So you can see I only have one service, so that's how I got the service. Service ID, uh, rather, service ID is how I got that based on, um, this is the service that I created, but they give it a unique ID on, in, underneath, and that's what they wanted. So that's where the service ID goes. API token you generate from uh, within service, within pager duty. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Uh, what else? Um, so once the page of duty fires, then I'll get a I'll get a notice on my phone. So let's give this a whirl. Uh, I'll use the smaller file. Okay. Okay, so it's launching the first browser. Hey, Zacharyon, what's up? All right, so here's the second browser. It is pretty slow. Imagine doing that for 30 browsers. Just doing a little tutorial on Python and web scraping on a nice chilly Sunday all right so three browsers are up now it's gonna keep rotating you notice they're refreshing I'll let that run one more cycle they're all sold out sold out sold out sold out so it's not happy it's going to keep pulling. Now I'm going to switch over to, I'm going to take one of these guys and then have it go to something else like this RAM. I bet there is this RAM. $382 for RAM. But notice now this one has an add to cart. It's going to find that add to cart button. Notice it clicked it. Now it's going to show up in the cart and it'll, it'll fire off a page of duty. Oh, here it is. So if I was elsewhere, I'll acknowledge it. So that's pager duty. It just called me, saying like, "Oh, okay. Um, you need to go check out this uh, thing so that uh, you can check out." So notice this one is not refreshing like the other ones because it got removed from the list. So now I can check out in peace while the other ones are still searching for the uh, availability. So that's pretty much it. Any questions? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Let me stop the video real quick.